Got another exam question here on the AS Enthalpy Changes topic. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so the first thing we've got to use this information about this calorimetry experiment to determine the enthalpy change of combustion of hexane in kilojoules per mole. And we've got to give it to an appropriate number of significant figures. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the energy transferred from the reaction into the water, this 200 grams of water. So we use the mc delta t equation. So it's 200 for the mass of water that's heated up times the specific heat capacity of water, 4.18, multiplied by the temperature change. So the difference between those two is 45. So that gives us that many joules and we divide by 1000 to put it into kilojoules. Next thing we do is work out the moles of hexane that's been burned, so mass over MR, 0.015. So to turn that into an enthalpy change of combustion, we put the kilojoules over the moles, it comes out as a calculated value of minus, remember it's exothermic, minus 2508 kilojoules per mole. So an appropriate number of significant figures will be three because all the data is to three significant figures. So it's minus 2510 kilojoules per mole. Very typical follow-up question from that. So the data book value is different from the calculated value. Suggest two reasons. So the obvious one to go for is heat loss to the surroundings. Sometimes they won't allow that because they'll say other than heat loss to the surroundings suggest two other differences, but they haven't said that. So heat loss to the surroundings is fine here. You could say incomplete combustion. Got a couple more down here. You could have mentioned non-standard conditions or you could mention that the specific heat capacity of the apparatus has been ignored. So some of the heat from the reaction is actually heating up the beaker and the thermometer, as well as the water. Moving on to part B, where we're gonna use the graph to establish a couple of um, enthalpy changes of combustion values. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plot a value for butane on the graph. Butane's got an MR of 58. And so what I've done is just drawn the line through the points and then just extrapolated it along its natural line there and found where it hits 58 and read along to here. So I'm getting around about minus 2850 kilojoules per mole for my enthalpy change of combustion. So while the graph's still on the screen, just talk about the beginning of the next part of the question. So it deals with pentane now. So we've got an MR of 72. So you can see I've done the same as before, but now I'm finding out the enthalpy change of combustion for pentane from my graph, and I'm getting around about minus 3,550 kilojoules per mole. So now we've established how many kilojoules per mole of um, pentane are released. I'm gonna find out how many moles of pentane we've got in this 1.8 grams. So mass over MR, 0.025 moles. So the energy released by the 1.8 grams of pentane is gonna be the kilojoules per mole value multiplied by the moles we've got, and that's coming out at 88.8 .8 kilojoules. And now for the last part of the question, we've got to use these enthalpy changes of formation values. You can see I've highlighted all the little Fs there. So we use an enthalpy change of formation data to calculate an enthalpy change for a reaction. So the reaction in question just happens to be an enthalpy change of combustion. But the point I always try to stress here is the data that you're using determines which method you use. So when you use an enthalpy changes of formation, you take the sum of the enthalpy changes of formation of the products and minus the sum of the enthalpy changes of formation of the reactants. So subbing the numbers in gives us this line here. So just remember that you're making, you're forming six moles of CO2. So it's six times the value in the table because that's for the formation of one mole, but our reaction forms six moles. Likewise for the H2O, multiply that one by six, subtracting just the one times the value for C6H12 because there's only one mole involved here. Obviously we haven't got a value for oxygen because the enthalpy change of formation of all elements is zero. So in terms of an answer, we're getting minus 3919.5 kilojoules per mole.